Hello, this is Tom Clout with this week's Precious Metals Market Update. Thank you for all the calls that have been coming in wanting to know our opinion on what uh, a Trump presidency is going to look like economically and from an investment standpoint. While certainly I'm not going to have time to go into every thought I have on the subject, let's just hit the high points since the election uh, back, what, 25 days ago, roughly, and uh, say this. Number one, we've seen the stock market move to an all-time high, and we do expect because people think as corporate taxes go down. Remember, we're not talking about individual taxes in the first 100 days. They'll eventually hopefully lead to lower rates for us, but the corporate tax being dropped from 35% to 15% certainly is a major generator of, of jobs because it'll drop where people companies will have more money to spend either in people or a product, whatever they're going to use. But So we agree that the stock market is a good place to have, have some money, but also you've got to realize when it gets by all indicators too expensive, it's going to drop and it's going to become more volatile. But should you have more stocks under a Trump environment than a Hillary Clinton? The answer is yes. You should play the stocks, and most of you all follow Jerry's stock services and know how important it is, and uh, now you definitely need to get a subscription if you don't have it because you're going to be able to make some great money in the stock market going forward. There will be volatility, but you'll have great uh, opportunities. Bonds, absolutely, without question, the worst place you can have your money. Even if you need income, you're going to have to find another way to do it through either dividend stocks or some other way, but you cannot stay in the bond market. We've seen since the election a 7% drop in the bond market. It's been hurt worse than gold and silver that have also been hurt. And we'll get that in a few minutes. But anyway, bonds, fixed income, get out of. Real estate is going to get hit by the rising interest rates, rising mortgage rates. will make the value of real estate less. So that we know without question the most affected is going to be bonds, and real estate. Now, not all real estate depends on what kind it is, what you're using it for, but the ones that are financing, you will be hurt by rising rates and the value and the principle of the house. So be careful if you're looking at that area. Now, long term, nothing's changed with the dollar, but on the short term, money coming out of bonds is flowing into U.S. Treasuries, keeping the pressure off of the Fed to have to monetize the debt and buy all the debt themselves. So the dollar's up at a 13-year high, which is the major culprit for driving gold and silver lower. Now, we all know that you can't export things, and your trade deficit will get much, much worse unless the dollar starts dropping. And I think the dollar will start dropping, and it'll be amazing for gold and silver because the creation of higher inflation is also the one thing that everybody agrees on, that Trump will produce higher inflation by creating jobs, the velocity of money will pick up, spending will pick up, and inflation will pick up, and eventually a potential even much higher inflation, not hyper, but double-digit inflation if this economy got overheated too hot from all these new policies. But please remember this. Trump is going to have a larger deficit the first year or two than Obama had. You can't go in and increase government spending on military, VA, everything he wants to come in and do without. So before the revenues come and tax revenues go up, we're going to see bigger deficits, oh, well over a trillion dollars, and it's going to really hurt the dollar. And for that reason, I suggest you stay in gold and silver, even though we may have another month of pain there. But if unless you're making a decision, you don't think gold and silver are going to prosper under a higher, a higher growth economy, higher inflation, and lower dollar, which we are going to get, then I would move out. But if you're not, you need to just hold, even though the price has been dropping. But here's the key thing that everybody's called in, we've talked about. Buy palladium, buy palladium, buy palladium. Since the election, gold has gone down over 
$85, as I talk to you right now, for about 7% loss in 25 days. Silver has a similar loss, but pl palladium has gone up 15% in less than one month because the industrial use of palladium being so rare and only coming from uh, Russia and Siberia and some from South Africa is a very limited amount of palladium on the planet Earth. So if you think we're going to increase car sales, a growing economy, Trump's going to create jobs, higher paying jobs, you need to buy, buy palladium wide open right now. It, it's all, Like I said, it's already drunk, jumped $100, about $120 an ounce, about 15% in only 25 days. And you've really seen nothing yet because the major people coming in the market, money managers that are, are shifting money when from bonds to stocks and to palladium. Also, silver is a great industrial. Even though it got hurt with gold as the dollar went up, if the Chinese go and make the solar panels they're talking about the next seven years, they literally could wipe the physical silver off the planet Earth. I mean, that's not even a joke. That's very serious, and we could see triple-digit silver that right now seems impossible. But let me remind you, in 2008, silver got down to $9 and change, and by 2011, in only three, a little over three years, it was at 47. And you're going to see the same type thing now. So I would continue buying silver, even though uh, the price has dropped over the last 25 days. I think the demand coming from both China and the U.S. and bond money, we've had quite a few people that have liquidated bonds that have bought more stocks and more, more metals because that's where they feel the most comfortable. So anyway, we can't go through all the highlights today, but if you'd like to talk to us about a self-directed precious metals IRA, we can show you how to do that and move precious metals, physical metals, into your IRA through a rollover. And uh, certainly if you've got rare coins, we still feel you'd be better off in bullion coins. We can talk to you about that. You can reach us at 800 247 Two eight one two. That's eight hundred two four seven two eight one two, and we'll be happy to answer your questions. And we'll continue to bring you a lot more information as the Trump presidency uh, gets into full swing in January, as we look. But I give you a quick overview of where we think things are now. Till next week, this is Tom Cloud signing out.